look ahead this midday. The countdown is on the pirate days at Smith Mountain Lake and it comes around every third weekend in July. Yeah, it kicks off this Friday with the Pirates Ball and here to give us a swashbuckling preview are PJ Nagel as well as Nathan Mosser. Uh, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you. Um, thank you. All right, so for folks who may not be familiar with the event, can you just kind of explain to us what it is? Pirate Days is quite simply the best annual community event at the lake. Um, it's been labeled the next holiday or the newest holiday at Smith Mountain Lake. Three days of pirate fun. And wait, we glossed over your friend. <laughs> who, do, who do you have with you? This is Mojito. Mojito, oh, that was the uh, best name ever. Trying to keep him quiet. Aw, oh, he is pretty talkative. <laughs> yeah, he's a cutie. Yeah, he is. He'll be joining us for Pirate Days. Oh, of course, he can have it without him, right? So this is the 10th tenth, tenth year. 10th tenth right? anniversary, yes. That is yes. crazy. So how did this all get started? 10 years ago, uh, the Chamber of Commerce put together a themed weekend. Um, and it was nothing more than uh, an idea or a theme for local businesses to get behind mm -hmm. to boost businesses or to boost business after 4th of July mm -hmm. when it typically slowed down. Mm -hmm. um, they propagated it for a couple of years, didn't want to go any farther with it, make it any bigger, and we took over the reins. So we, we mentioned that this is all kicking off with um, the Pirates Ball. Um, what can you tell us about that event for people who may want to attend? When is it happening? Where is it happening? How do folks, if they need to get tickets for it? Uh, the Pirates Ball, the tickets are at the door. Um, okay. It's going to be at Mango's on Friday night, uh, the 14th. Uh, we have Vinyl Nation playing, a uh, local band. Mm -hmm. And um, costumes aren't required. <laughs> Highly encouraged. Yeah. Um, you can certainly dress up like <laughs> this isn't a costume though we, we kind of wear this every weekend <laughs> but it, it's going to be at mangoes um it's a, a large event come out dressed up like a pirate let your inner kid out yeah <laughs> and uh yeah that's what kicks the whole weekend off i mean you can't go to a pirate's ball and not dress up you just can't you do would it. think but you'd be amazed how many people don't. <laughs> all right so for the youngest pirates among us right you have something special for them on saturday morning we do um well, we have a lot. <laughs> we have, it kicks off with the Pancakes and Pirates Breakfast. Yum. The Smith Mountain Lake Regional Chamber of Commerce is doing a panca Pancakes and Pirates. It's hard to say. Pancakes and, uh, pancakes and Pirates. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there, PMP. That starts off at 8 in the morning. Runs from 8 to 10. It'll be at Bridgewater Plaza at the Mexico Viejo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so they'll be there for two hours. We have some entertainers, face painters, uh, goodies actors. for the kids actors there as well oh, real pirates uh, after the breakfast everything takes a ride down the road or the lake depending on how you're going um, down to crazy horse marina mm. and the whole day is kid oriented mm -hmm. uh, we have treasure hunting on the beach we bury treasure for the kids we do sword fighting with the kids we have live pirates we have live mermaids we have live parrots <laughs> um, we even let Nathan come out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we have a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, over the course of the weekend at Crazy Horse, we have eight bands, uh, most of them local. We do have uh, an out-of-town band, a pirate sea shanty band that's coming into play wow. on Saturday. The big thing is, last year we had 13, 15, 15, 15. 15 vendors. This year, we're over 100. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. So wow, you guys have wow. We're over a yes. hundred vendors this year. Um, every type of food you could think of: nice. seafood, burgers, hot dogs, uh, pizza, you name it. Sounds like um, my kind of party. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think we've got close to twenty food vendors alone. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So tickets, how much are tickets? And again, how can folks get tickets for uh, the different events? What well, you want to answer? Or uh, are the you ticket, talk? the tickets are going to be, <laughs> you know, wristbands. Um, it'll, it's a five dollar wristband, and it covers entry both days, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. For all the events going on at uh, Crazy Horse Marina, um, and most of the, part of that money is going to donations for a couple of the organizations that we're supporting. You can find them out on our website, um, uh, smlpiratedays.com. Yeah, smlpiratedays.com. But our charities, we have. Um, Kazim Shriners, uh, the American Legion, Bedford Humane Society, um, 
put me on the spot. Uh, yeah. I have a couple others. <laughs> a lot, a lot there, a lot yeah. there. But no, we're gonna have all this information on our website. And again, you said Smith Mountain Lake SML Pirate Days dot com. All right, SML. All right, there on the screen, guys. Days. There, yes. you go. Yeah, there we go. That's it. There we go. <laughs> All right, Nathan Mosser, PJ Nagel, thank you guys so much for being here and telling us about this great event. Thanks thank for you. having us. Yeah, we'll be right back.